you know, we've been dealing for about a year now with uh, you know, serious issues as far as teaching performance and rehearsing and, and playing music together. It just happens so fast, you know? I mean, it was definitely very tough at first because I was so disappointed that uh, you know, my college experience was kind of going to be interrupted for a little while. Music in particular, it was a uh, much greater change because you know we couldn't actually play together. This has been the strangest year ever of my entire teaching career. I started my position in the fall. I realized that we were in this digital world for the long haul. So the first couple of quarters of choir fall and winter quarter, it, we couldn't even sing together. It wasn't an option. We were just learning based off of Zoom and then we had to record on our own. So it was definitely a different experience. It almost didn't feel like choir. And we were using a platform all the way back in the fall actually called Jamulus to mixed reviews. It was, it was difficult to hear each other, but at least it gave us some sort of a sense of who the voices were in the ensemble. So that was the winter time, just trying to figure out this digital world. This quarter, however, we now have the jam boxes. And so we regularly rehearse um, with a visual on Zoom and our audio through this little tiny computer called a jam box. But a Raspberry Pi is a little computer about this big, doesn't have a screen, doesn't have a mouse, doesn't have a keyboard, doesn't have anything. And power it up plug in your headset and you can sing live online with other people. And that's what Jamula software allows you to do. It allows 20, 40 people to sing at the same time. And unlike Zoom, which turns out to be a hot mess with the delay, it doesn't work for music. Jamulus is coded specifically for real time music over the internet. We hear each other as if we're in the same room. So we're actually rehearsing, we're actually making music, and I'm actually getting to hear my ensemble for the first time. Jim and I have been friends for a long time, working together musically. Jim had experimented with a, a, a hundred different ways. I mean, he did all the legwork. work. We've been experimenting with Jamulus at Santa Barbara City College since June, gosh, even May of last year. Santa Barbara City College was the first school in the country to have a big band concert, anything more than four people on Jamulus. Um, so it's been a wild ride. I've watched students cry uh, <laughs> after playing together for the first time, after, you know, six months into the pandemic, to watch them for the first time play together uh, is really, really special. And when we sung a piece that we'd been working on for two quarters, I almost like wanted to cry. It was crazy to hear like all of my colleagues' voices all together singing the same piece at the same time without any delay. Like I didn't realize how much we were missing out. Like, I hadn't heard a live choir in over a year and I hadn't sung in a choir like this in over a year. So it was emotional, I think, for a lot of us. It's pretty amazing and overwhelming and the students have been incredible as far as adapting to this new reality and are, are actually excited to play in this kind of medium. Like, I've had nobody missing classes, which is crazy. We're actually doing two concerts. There's a concert the night before, May 26th, which is the Chamber Choir, UCSB Chamber Choir. So they're doing a concert the night before us. My rhythm section and a couple of horn players are gonna go and play on their concert the night before. And then they're gonna come with a quartet of singers and sing with us on our concert the next night. The day everything was shut down at UCSB was the day right before we were going to do a concert. So that was kind of a really big bummer. So I've kind of been waiting to do a performance uh, since that point. I think our listeners will hear that spark that is live music, that you can't get from a recorded piece. As a music teacher, I want to see people play music together. And to have that cut off, I, I, it's, it's, been, it's been wonderful to see departments like UCSB utilize this technology. This technology opens doors in terms of people getting together to make music who aren't in the same location. So I believe this is the future. And to be able to collaborate with wonderful colleagues, not only from my own department, but from Santa Barbara City College, this is, it's a true example of how people can come together and make lemonade out of lemons. <laughs> so I'm so excited about that.